is a video of our new to us coach. It's a uh, Fleetwood Discovery. It's a 2013, has uh, 56,000 miles. Uh, this is our first maiden voyage in it, first trip. We are in a uh, nice little campground in Marblehead, Ohio. Uh, we're heading for Michigan. We left home yesterday, stopped in at Altoona at a Walmart parking lot. Did a little boondocking. Everything worked out pretty well. This is the uh, motor coach parked in the bus parking area. We're at the Marblehead Lighthouse. And Harley's excited to go. So these are the grounds of the lighthouse. The lighthouse is off in the trees over there. This is the uh, lighthouse keeper. Look at the, the condor up on top. Let me see if I can zoom in on him. Great big condor fanning his wings on the top of the roof. So this is evidently a, a boathouse and it uh, has great big doors on this end and uh, looks like some sort of a ramp. Uh, but it, the sign on it says it's a U.S. Life Saving Station. Beautiful, but beautiful building. Way off in the distance is Sandusky. It's an amusement park over there. This is Lake Erie. All of the boats out on the water today. Lighthouse at Marblehead, Ohio, and the Lightkeeper's house. Beautiful grounds. Visitor center over there. Well, it's about 7:30 in the morning. We're in uh, Sterling State Park in Michigan. This is a beautiful state park. The only uh, services they have is electric hookup. And the electric is uh, 30 amp. Got some big smokestacks in the distance. And look at this site that we've got. From where we are, site that we have is pointed right at Lake Erie. Got sun coming up this morning. This all across here is just sand beach. People out in it all day long. It's beautiful. And this is one of the huge benefits of having a Class A uh, motor home. You've got this great big picture window in the front. So when we pulled in, it was like, why would we want to back in when we could just drive in and have the big picture window to uh, look at the lake at any point in time? Okay, so this is the interior of our motorhome. It has uh, an, a six-speed Allison transmission, uh, automatic. Um, we've got some control panels, uh, rocker switches over here. Uh, I put this little monitor here for a battery monitor, just a quick look and see what the, the uh, house batteries are currently doing. Um, but it's just a standard uh, cockpit. I changed out this radio 
Uh, it had a um, just a regular um, uh, Android based radio and I wanted to be able to use um, Apple CarPlay on this so I bought another uh, Apple CarPlay radio and changed that out. Uh, this is the screen for our rear view cameras and uh, there is a camera out on the mirror right at the bottom of the mirror there is a left side camera and there's a right side camera over here and then there's a rear view camera and so those display up here and they automatically change when you when you put turn signals on so you put a right turn signal on the right side shows and you can see all the way down the side of the motorhome uh, this is our navigator seat and uh, the seat controls uh, they have heated seats. Um, you have a lever here to be able to spin these seats around so then they become uh, seating for the living room. And uh, they're pretty comfortable, fully adjustable. Uh, you got a lumbar support here and you've got a heat control. And this button here for the navigator seat actually controls a foot um, thing that comes out. Uh, up above here, we have a bunch of control stuff. Uh, this brings in the big slide on the driver's side in and out. Uh, this one uh, controls multiple slides. It does the, side on, the slide on the passenger side. It does a um, uh, awning over the door. Uh, also does an awning over you know, the big awning uh, out on the porch. Uh, this is our uh, power monitor, uh, so it tells which power is being, currently being used. And in this case, we're on shore power, so we have two legs of shore power coming in. And we're using uh, 18 amps right now, which isn't too bad considering that uh, we're in a 30 amp uh, plug-in and uh, we're only using 18 amps and right now there is one of two air conditionings that i have set up uh, to run on this and uh, and we're only running one right at the moment uh, this is our generator control a uh, bunch of settings around it it's a cummings onan generator it's a uh, eight eight kilowatt i think a generator uh, then we have our tank test up here, so that does our, our uh, holding tank levels. And we have a battery monitor here. There's the house batteries at 12.83 right now. And then the bus batteries are at 12.7. Uh, we've got a uh, inverter. I think it's a uh, 2,000 watt, maybe 3,000 watt inverter. And uh, so this uh, uh, just is, I mean, it's just parameters around that. Uh, the coach itself has self levelers. Uh, so they're uh, hydraulic uh, self levelers. And so when we come into uh, park and we want to level up the coach, all we have to do is hit auto and it automatically does its thing and, and levels the coach. Got water heater set up. It's uh, electric and LP uh, gas. Uh, so you can select either one of those. And then we have a, uh, a control unit for the air conditioning units. It's a three zone air conditioning unit. So there are three units. Uh, zone one is up here in the front. Uh, zone two is mid coach. And then zone three is back in the bedroom. Uh, so right now we're on cool. Uh, and I have zone one is uh, right now at 81 degrees, which kind of makes sense that the, this is the, the front air conditioner that's running. Uh, the sun is coming right in the front window, so it kind of makes sense that it's warmer there. Zone two is actually off. That's the mid coach, uh, and it's only 73 degrees there. And then in the very back, uh, zone three, which is the bedroom, the back side of the motorhome right now away from the sun uh, it's only it's uh, 72 degrees back there so we got complete control of this and when we first came in we were running the generator and running all three air conditionings and when we plugged into the 30 amp service 
uh, I kind of monitored this uh, control here, and we were right at 30 amps that we were pulling out of the uh, out of the pedestal. So we shut down the center air conditioning, and we're just running the front and back. And uh, so that's how we kind of manage that. It's got a nice little cabinet that it closes up in. Uh, on this side, uh, it's just storage up here. But we do have a wind sensor, Dometic wind sensor, that's on the outside awning. And uh, if the wind gets up, you know, uh, starts moving the awning around, well, the awning will automatically uh, pull in. Uh, so then we have uh, kind of a dining area here, a little bit of a table. This table unlocks back here and pulls out. Uh, we've got a big 50 inch uh, screen TV. Uh, and this TV actually folds down into the cabinet so we can drop that and there's a, a window out there. Uh, we have another TV up in front. Uh, I don't know what the size of that is. And then our AV unit, uh, which I'm currently reworking everything, but the AVs, you know, we would put a DVD player up here. Uh, we actually have uh, a selector here so we can select which TV we want to send stuff to and then I've got a, a Roku device uh, right here that I put in and this Roku then allows none of these TVs are smart TVs so I can't send stuff from my phone to the TV but with the Roku device, I can send uh, something off my phone to the Roku device and then it shows up over here on the TVs. So that works out pretty good. Uh, we've got a little bit of a glass display thing here. Uh, and I guess at one point in time, you know, you'd put wine glasses and little trinkets to display. Uh, we have a pantry that's here and this pantry opens up and we have a bunch of storage in the back uh, and so uh, and then pantry on the back side of this so that's pretty cool uh, and we do have a little bit of wear here from where this thing comes you know rubs over the top of that every time you push it in and out so we'll have to have to kind of contend with that got a bunch of storage all down this side it's got a full uh, residential um, refrigerator freezer on the left side uh, refrigerator on the right uh, it's got an ice maker in it we can do water we can do cubed ice and then over here we have the kitchen with all the cabinets over here we do have a uh, LP stove top underneath there and uh, on this side, we have the washer and dryer. Uh, so it's a front load washer, actually does a really good job. They're smaller than a residential uh, one, but uh, you know, for what clothes we're washing when we're on the road, you know, a couple t-shirts, a couple pairs of shorts. And uh, so anyway, they, they work great. Uh, we have another half bath in here. Uh, toilet and sink, uh, fantastic fans in the top, and uh, storage for that bathroom. Uh, and over here we have a king size bed with storage up above, and then all of this storage underneath here for clothes. Uh, these drawers uh, open up, and we got storage in the back side. And, uh, and then this is another TV for the bedroom. And this side actually slides open as well. And you got hanging, you know, place for hanging clothes. And, you know, we put a vacuum and fans and stuff like that in the back. And in the rear bathroom is a full shower uh, with an, uh, a, a detachable wand. A uh, little pedestal seat in the corner, skylight up at the top. Uh, that's a very nice shower. And this shower is actually right above the, the water heater is right behind it. So you get almost instant hot water. Uh, got a vanity here with storage down below. And uh, 
we've got storage you know on each side of this uh, all the way around and then on this side we have uh, storage uh, clothing storage and dirty clothes hamper is what we put in there another uh, fantastic fan up here and this toilet is a uh, macerator toilet so uh, when you uh, do the business in there uh, you've got a button over here on the right hand side that you push and it, it's a macerator toilet so it chews it up and pumps it over to the black tank so that works out pretty nice it's almost kind of like an automatic toilet with an automatic flush to it uh, so that's about it for the interior uh, we got a nice big couch here uh, this couch uh, each of these um, uh, sections here are uh, you know they're like a recliner you've got a ring that you can pull on it and the recliner disengages and you can prop your feet up uh, this half of the couch uh, over here you take these cushions this one cushion rolls over and folds underneath and this cushion comes out and you put it over here and this whole thing slides in uh, so then you you just have one one section of couch and uh, and so this slide this uh, driver's side slide is what they call a super slide so it it comes from here which is right behind the driver's seat and this entire wall all the way the uh, wa clothes washer all the way down to here is the driver's side slide and then the bed this is the bed room slide that comes in and then this slide over here is from the refrigerator all the way down to here and that slide comes in and when all of this comes together we still have an access way all the way down to the bathroom we can get into the refrigerator we can access the sink uh, the only thing that we can't access is the bed comes in this slide comes in so that closes all of that off but if you crawl over the bed, you can get to the back bathroom. But, you know, when we're on the road traveling, we only need access to this bathroom. So uh, once we do that, uh, then, then we're, we're just kind of like a regular bus going down the road. Uh, we got Harley's seat set up right behind the navigator seat. Uh, her, her seat actually kind of comes over here to the, to the middle section, and that's where she rides uh and then uh so that's that's kind of it uh that's the interior of our uh of our new motor coach so this is our view out the front window of our motor coach We've got a big beach out in front of us We've got people on the beach kids in the water uh, today it's actually pretty quiet, but the last couple of days it has really been busy here.